Hey my friends, so I'm chilling out here with my sister Diane. Hi. Eventually she's got a face to the name that I'm always speaking about. And we are going to be making some chocolate granola. Um, it's the baked one. It's super easy. It's great for this time of year. Everyone loves it, especially kids. And it's very healthy for you. And here are the ingredients. Uh, we've got two kilograms of oats because we're going to be making quite a bit. You can use the whole oats, the rolled ones, or the pre-cooked. Um, there's sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, raisins. Uh, we've got some raw cacao here uh, from the Superfoods brand. And we've got some linseed, cashew nuts. You can use almonds if you want any other. Um, you've got an orange blossom honey from Aitza. Beautiful honey that's raw. There's sesame seed, and I'm just going to be using some peanut butter uh, with, you can use olive oil, coconut oil, your choice. Okay. So as I go along the process, I'll show you how it's done. Give it a try. Okay, so we've mixed the honey, the peanut butter, and the oil, which was a cup of each. And now we're just going to pour it into the dry ingredients, which is coconut. I think I forgot to mention coconut previously. And that's half a kilo of coconut, a cup of uh, cacao powder, and then a kilo whole kilogram of oats and you're just going to throw in that peanut butter mix mix it up basically you can make a chocolate crunchy from this if you wanted to and if you did I would have put in chickpea flour to help bind it but we are wanting granola okay it's done we're going to test it very good. Very chocolatey. We don't put the nuts and seeds and all that kind of stuff in yet because they get a bit hard and a bit overcooked when that roasts in the oven. So just put it on a nice big baking tray, spread it out, and then you put it in the oven at about 100 degrees because it has to bake nice and slow. You don't want to burn it. And then it dries out in these little chunks of awesomeness. Cool. So as soon as the muesli starts to feel nice and dry um, and toasty, I just then put in the nuts and the seeds. And the nuts and the seeds are about half a cup of each and a good cup of raisins. And then just gently mix it in and just carry on roasting it a little bit longer. Just so that the, the nuts and seeds get like a slightly toasted flavor to them. So I say another, at least another half an hour, quite a low temperature. I've dropped it to about 50 degrees now. And here's the final result for my chocolate granola. I couldn't do it last night. It got a little bit too dark and too late. But um, it's in a coconut bowl, some fresh fruit. I've got the Synergy Organics hemp hearts and um, chia seeds mixed with some coconut milk. And then a little bit of um, their green, uh, green chia protein mix. And yeah, I've just made a little, a little Buddha bowl for breakfast. <laughs>